and I love the outdoors. And I just feel this flow through me of this positive energy and vibes that exist out in nature. Seattle's Discovery Park. Another perfect fall day. <laughs> is one of Bobby McLaughlin's favorite walks with his fiance Stacy, but it's hardly their most strenuous. There's parks that are a little bit larger than this, like uh, Kilimanjaro. <laughs> Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest peak in Africa. He's climbed there twice, despite only having one kidney. Bobby gave his other one away. Always wanting to help people, and this was uh, seemed like a really natural, easy way to do that. After a biking accident that required bone and tissue reconstruction, Bobby started learning about the general need for donors. More than 100,000 people are on the national transplant waiting list, and 13 of them die every day. So he made the decision to become a non-directed donor, meaning he had no connection to the person who received his kidney. It didn't matter to me who that was. And in finding out about my recipient later, I'm so grateful that I was able to step in and help. It turned out to be a young father. Now, Bobby's on a mission to show others what's possible post-donation. His Kilimanjaro treks were with groups of other donors who also live active lives. They call it, you know, every man's Everest is what they call it. They did Mount Everest too, hiking to the base camp at more than 17,000 feet. And the climbs are inspiring others to both consider and follow through with donations of their own. It's a great circle that just keeps spinning ripples off every time we go. So Bobby and the group journey on, living proof that a selfless act can lead to new heights. Knowing that we're healthy and we're able to, we're grateful to be able to do that.